Hey guys, and welcome back to Can't Code. Today we're going to be doing part 8 of our scratch shooter game. So this is going to be pretty cool. Today we're working on some shop stuff. Right now when we start the flag, we have a shop button that comes up, but when we click it, nothing happens. So today let's make something actually happen. We're going to make everything so you can buy everything here, but then you're going to need to be able to get back to the menu again so that you can press play and start playing. So let's make a back button real quick. So let's go to the shop, go here, we'll duplicate it, and let's make a back button. All of our buttons are four letters so far, which is kind of cool. Okay, so we're going to go to the code, and now we're going to code it into the script here. So um, let's go here, if the cost number is one, if the cost number is two, and let's just code in the third one real quick. We're going to attach it here and say three. And let's choose where we want it to go. So when it comes up, maybe it can go right down here. Like that. So maybe minus 70. Minus, uh, minus 145. Okay, let's try that. That should be pretty good. Also, I kind of want the size to go down slightly. So maybe the size could be like... 75. Yeah, that's good, but actually, we're going to have to need to change the... Change it again. Okay, that actually went really close to some precise values here. Minus 180. Minus 150 size will be 75 if we're gonna change the size to 75 it's pretty safe to change these ones to 100 okay now when I want it to come on I don't want this wait button to happen at all also this is going to make it slide onto the screen this direction and I don't want that instead actually what I'm going to do is I'm gonna have it set to 0% and it's going to change the size by 25 three times. And it's actually going to zoom in as its little animation thing. Now it's going to go to the forever. If it's touching the last pointer, set the size to... We don't want to set the size to 110. Let's do 80. And then the brightness. Shop. We don't want it to broadcast shop. We want to make it broadcast end game. Because that's what happens when the menu comes up. The menu comes up at end game, and it also comes up at when the flag is clicked, but we can't remake that happen, so. Uh, we also don't want it to wait any time. And it will delete this clone. I believe that should be okay. But we want it to come onto the screen when we receive end game. So wait a minute. When we receive shop so you've got end game shop and when the flag is clicked so um here we're just going to set it to back button there we go let's just see what happens here there's shop boom got the back okay so it's at a hundred percent for some reason i thought we set it zero and then it changes the size three times by 25 which would make it at 70 oh so you see here in the else it has it set to 100% if you're not touching it with your mouse so let's try this again so we press play press shop back comes up that looks pretty nice press back and that did not really work shop back so the reason why that didn't work is because it is sliding onto the screen it's already on the screen. The menu is already on the screen. So let's, we're going to need to broadcast a different message. I'm going to call this buttons. And this is going to make only the buttons come onto the screen. Now when I go to... Well, I'm in the button sprite already. So I just have to have another... Um, one of these blocks here that says when I receive buttons... 
then these two will come on. Okay, let's try this. Shop, back, these two come on. Shop, back, play. Now let me die real quick. These two come out. Shop, back, play. That is looking pretty nice. So now I think we can add some things to the shop. So let's make a new sprite, which is going to be our items. So you can call this shop items. So let's make our first one. We can make a different gun here that you can buy in the shop, or we can make it so that you have limited ammunition, and then you have to buy it. You can buy new ammunition in the shop. That'd probably be a pretty cool one to do. Uh, but let's just start by making a new gun. So our original gun is this, but we can make a new one. This is like kind of like a handgun pistol thing. We can make one that's more of a machine gun. So I'm going to copy this and add it to the picture of one of these um, items. Now here I'm actually going to make an actual machine gun for our player, and then I'll be able to put it onto this actual board. I have absolutely no idea what that is, I am starting over. Alright, that looks okay, in my opinion. So we'll just have that. I'm just going to group that all, copy it over to this item here. I'll delete this one and add this one in. We will make it a little bigger, put it right there. And then we're going to put the cost underneath. So we can kind of decide how much we want this to cost. I think I'll make mine I think I'll make it 250 I might change it in the future but I don't really know exactly how much it should be let's just put that right there 250 and hopefully that is going to be readable with all this Stuff. Yeah, I think you can kind of see that. Alright. So now let's put this item kind of where we want it, wherever we want, really. Uh, let's see. 130, 90. That looks pretty good. Um, so we'll just say when flag clicked, then we're just going to make it all hide and all the clones will get deleted. Just everything is out of the way. Until we receive shop. Once we receive shop, it's going to appear. So we want it to uh, not show, really. We want it to create a clone of itself because we're going to have multiple items that you can buy. So then this one we'll just put here. Create clone myself. But let's first make it go to this position. We'll make the, the costume switch to that. You can name the costume automatic and then I'm actually gonna duplicate this 
I say when you're hovering over it, we want it to kind of do something different. I think I might make the outside light up or something. Uh, that good. Oops, that's not what I really wanted. What I wanted. Well, we can just try it and see what happens. Okay. Well, when I start as a clone, we're going to make it show. And then we're going to see what it is. So we're just going to have a bunch of ifs. Uh, one for each of the items, but we only have one item right now, so we'll just have one if. We'll put a forever loop inside. And we we're going to say if the costume number is equal to one, then we know it's the first item. If it's the first item, then it's the automatic one, because that's what we made. So we're going to say forever, if else, and then an if in there, if touching the mouse pointer, and then if mouse down. So if it's touching the mouse pointer, then we want it to switch the costume to automatic too. Otherwise, switch it to automatic. And actually, I just kind of want to see what this is like. This looks like. That looks okay. I kind of think it would look cool if this center player guy was, like, bigger. Yeah, I think that looks kind of cool. Alright. Put this back in there. And say, if mouse down, then it has to buy it. So, let's see if it has enough. So, we first have to see, if mouse down, then it has to check, if we have more money, then, so the cash is greater than 249, which means we have 250 or more. If we have 250 or more, then we can buy it. So if that is true, then we are going to change the cash by minus 250, which means we're going to lose $250. Now, when that happens, we're going to be able to get the automatic gun. Now, getting the automatic gun is going to be a little bit harder. We're going to have to do some stuff in the player sprite. But for now, I'm going to change this to maybe 4 and 5, so we don't need to get that much. Uh, right now later in the game uh, or right after that we test to see if this works I'm gonna make sure that it's at 250 but for now we can just use this for testing purposes now let's make sure that we can see if we have the automatic gun I think the best way to do this is to make a list of all the items and then seeing if we have those items or not so this list name will just be called items and it's going to only have one item in there because we only have one item uh, to buy. But once we have more, um, then we can add more uh, things to items. We'll just go to the stage because this is just kind of the general area here. We can say when flag clicked, we are going to delete all of the items. And then we're going to add zero to items just one zero and when we have one zero here if I click this we will have one zero in our items now when this zero is always zero then we will always have not this auto gun but when it changed to one then we will be able to have this auto gun so we're gonna go here and it's gonna change the cash by five uh, oh wait we want it to be minus five actually um, then we're going to replace we're gonna use this replace thing here replace item one of items with one like that okay then that means we will have the automatic gun so we're gonna to go to the player and we're going to say switch costume to costume one and it's gonna switch costume to costume two when we get the auto gun Okay, pause right there. I'm really sorry. We're only about halfway done with this video, but we're already overtime. 
So part two of this video is going to be part nine. So I'm going to have a link in the description and right here on the end screen. Make sure to subscribe and check that out. Bye.